My name is uh, Joseph Daly. I'm the welterweight champion in the STFC, and I'm training out of Thai Champ uh, Ringside Gym in Westaco, Texas. And my boxing, I train at Barrientes Boxing Gym in Mercedes, Texas. I'm fighting Carlos Diego. Uh, I don't know what degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu he is, and I, from what I know, he only has one fight. So I think that he's really, really confident, really confident coming into this fight, thinking that you know I'm going to be a walkover and take me down and submit me. So I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to show him what MMA is, not Jiu Jitsu is. I've had a total of seven fights. Uh, I had a fight in Chiapas, Mexico, and I won that fight too. Uh, well, I like to stand up now. I really, really like standing up. Um, I think it's kind of safe to say that my wrestling has is gone down a little bit compared to what it was before. Since I was just a wrestler, I would focus on using my strength and implementing my strength. But now my strength is, you know, stand up. It's boxing, it's Muay Thai, it's knees. Uh, so I, I feel that I'm really, I, I feel I'm a, a, as an all-around fighter, I, I feel I'm really, I'm really good. I mean, for anybody, I'm no joke. My last fight was against Abram. Abram Torres, I believe is his last name. Uh, that fight ended, he was actually taking me. He, was, uh, he shot a takedown, which I didn't expect, and uh, which I give him all the credit for. He, he, got, he got me down, so... When I got back up, uh, that's when I knew, okay, this time, you know, he's going to try to take me down. He did again and choked him out of the guillotine. I've had um, all of them. I have two stoppage and I believe three, uh, two stoppage, three tap outs, three submissions and two stoppage. So, so basically you're saying even your ground game is no joke. Yeah, my ground game is no joke either. I mean, it's I, my ground game. They've all finished on the ground, and I would like for them to finish standing up. But on the ground, I, I finish them like that. Well, I feel I'm not getting the respect from Carlos Diego, and maybe maybe the STFC as well for giving him giving him this this fight. Um, who knows? Maybe his ground is that good. But uh, no, I, I feel that I'm I'm really I feel that I'm really really good. So. I mean, he's going to have to find out the hard way, you know, why I'm the MMA champion and why he's just, you know, coming in. He's a world champion boxer comes into MMA that's only going to help so much, which is, you know, James Tony, world champion boxer, and see what happened to him. Now he's coming in as, uh, I mean, I don't think he's a world champion, but he's at a world-class level in jiu-jitsu, you know, just jiu-jitsu, you know, no wrestling, no stand-up, no nothing. And I think he should have learned from seeing Tony coming with one discipline and not revert to the old Royce Gracie days where nobody knew what jiu-jitsu was. Now he's coming back and everybody knows what jiu-jitsu is. I train jiu-jitsu. You know, he's just really, really good at it, but I train at everything else as well. So I think I have more tools to, to uh, take him out. And, I mean, to be honest, I don't see him submitting me in three minutes. You know, I have around three rounds, three minutes, I don't see him submitting me in three minutes. So I, you would have to be really, really, either he has to be super great to to be able to catch me right away. He has to have good wrestling in order to take me down. And, you know, he has to have, you know, super jiu-jitsu to submit me really, really fast. I mean, in wrestling, I was state wrestler and a two-time district champion and a regional medalist. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, pressure's on him and it's not on me. Well, I don't know how, how old Carlos Diego is. I know he has a school. I know he has a black belt. I know he has students. I know he's going out there to prove that jiu-jitsu is the number one discipline you have to know. I know he's going out there to prove that his gym is the gym to go to. And um, I don't have a gym. I'm not an instructor. I'm only 22 years old. You know, I'm not nowhere close to my prime. So... Like, I don't know how old he is either or, you know, any of that, but I think the pressure is going to be on him more than anything to, you know, with him be having that only one tool, I think it's going to be a lot of pressure on him, you know, a lot. And plus, I know for a fact that I'm taller than him, so I, I would like to see not only is he going, to, going against a wrestler, that's my background is wrestling, you know, not only is he going through that, but he has to get through my hands first, 
So I think it's going to be a, a really tough night for Carlos Diego. You know, I mean, I, I respect, I'll, I'll give him that he is a black belt jiu-jitsu. I know he's accomplished a lot. Hey, I'm giving you that credit, but hey, you know, where's my credit? You know, I'm going to tell you right now, like, you know, if I will beat you in everything else, you know, then jiu-jitsu. And guess what? It's an MMA fight. Uh, Carlos, you know, I hope you're ready. You know, I'm saying this with m most respect. You know, you want to win. I want to win. You know, let's see, you know, let's see how you do and let's see how I do. Again, it's going to be respect, you know, before the match, respect after the match. But during the match, you know, I'm looking to take your head off.